Hey there, what's happening YouTube? Thanks for stopping back by the channel today right here with the Rust Belt Mechanic. Now I know you guys have been tuned into the channel before and you've seen me do some reviews on some jump packs. But today we're going into the next century, moving into the new age jump packs with an ultra capacitor jump pack from SP Tools. We're going to go in detail on what exactly is the difference in this ultra capacitor jump pack compared to jump packs that I've done reviews on before. See what the differences are and see how well this one performs all in the same time. Stay tuned. So a couple of weeks ago, SP Tools USA was cool enough to send me over their new age ultra capacitor jump pack. Now this one differs quite a bit from the jump packs that everybody else is used to today. The jump packs that everyone else is used to, like the ones that I've done in previous videos, was like the GB70, the GB150. They're really nice lithium ion battery packs that are able to hold quite a charge to be able to jump all these vehicles that we have today. But now we're talking about this SP61074 Super Capacitor Jump Pack, or Ultra Capacitor Jump Pack in other words. You might be asking, what is an Ultra Capacitor? Another name for an Ultra Capacitor is what we call today as Super Capacitor, which is very, very different from today's batteries, especially in the lithium ion and nickel cadmium batteries that we have in most jump packs today. A supercapacitor is going to be able to hold between 10 and 100 times more energy per unit that this thing is able to hold. So for instance, if you were to put 10 times the amount less energy into, say, a normal jump pack, this would have the same amount of punch as a normal jump pack. That is because a supercapacitor or ultra capacitor is able to charge and discharge that amount of energy. 10 to 100 times faster than a normal battery or jump pack. So let's talk about some numbers here. We've got the ultra capacitor from SP Tools. So the internal battery inside of this, yes, it does have a small internal battery just in case you want to have that jumping power without having to plug it into the car battery. Now we'll go through on exactly how to use this one, but I'm just talking capacity here real quick. It does have an internal battery storage that is a 6,000 mAh battery. Now that's not very much, that's 6,000 milliamp hours. To compare, we've got our snap-on small battery pack. This is for uh, charging your phone or going into any of the heated jackets. Got about three and a half, four hours of use on high on one of the snap-on heated jackets. So that is 12,000 mAh, so that's double the size. Now if you look at like the GB70 right around there, that one's got right around 100,000 milliamp hours of output on that battery. Huge battery for that kind of an output. Now the output on say like the GB70, it's, it's rated at 2,000 uh, amps of output at peak, but really what is peak output to that? We're gonna say that that one's got about 1,100 to 1,200 peak amperage output. Now, when we look over at the SP Tools Super Capacitor, this one only has a 6,000 milliamp capacity battery inside of it. When you want to be able to jumpstart the car, that small battery charges the ultra capacitor inside this. After that happens, it's able to put out over 700 amps of output from a 6,000 milliamp hour battery. A battery half of this size can put out over 700 amps of power to jumpstart a car. Mind blown right there, guys. That is exactly how an ultra or super capacitor works. It's able to put that small amount of energy out so fast that it's able to react and make a ultra high amperage output jumpstart. Now, without that internal battery charged, how exactly is this one going to work for you guys? Like I was saying earlier, this is able to discharge a small amount of amper or a small amount of voltage at a high amperage very fast. Now, it's also able to intake 
a lot of energy, even from a small voltage or a small amperage source, very fast also. So without having the internal battery charged, you're able to hook this up to the normal battery posts, negative to the black, positive to the red, and then the small amount of voltage that you do get have still left in your battery, that is able to charge that ultra capacitor up. Now, depending on what voltage your battery is at or what kind of charge source that you're using will depend on how long it's gonna take to charge up the ultra capacitor to a jump starting voltage range. Now, what they advertise at is a minimum of five volts. So now that's not gonna be able to charge, uh, say your battery, if you've left it on for weeks and weeks on end and is at dead zero, you're not gonna charge the capacitor up, it's not gonna work. So, I've been able to do a couple of tests this last week, and I've actually been able to use this one on a battery that's down to right around three and a half volts. Anything below three and a half volts, it's really not going to be able to charge it up in amount of time that you want to be able to use it. Below five volts, it's going to take over 20 minutes to be able to charge this thing, and a lot of the times people aren't going to want to wait that long, it's just not going to work. But any point at five volts and above, you plug this thing into your onto your battery that is pretty much dead and doesn't start the car, it's going to charge this up, usually within about 60 to 90 seconds, depending, like I said, on the voltage that is left in the battery. After charging this with the depleted battery, it's like I said, it's going to take 30, 45 seconds or so, it's going to come up with a little icon and says, on here that says jump start ready. That's where the ultra capacitor has built up enough energy to be able to put out that 700 amps of output to jump start your car. Now that one, like I said, at just about five to six volts is gonna take you know, 30, 45 seconds. Now there are some other ways of charging this also. With the internal battery, if you have plugged this, say, into your wall or something overnight just to have the internal battery charged, you turn it on, at that point is gonna take the joules and the battery from the energy of the battery and put it into the ultra capacitor. That one's gonna take a little bit longer. Like I said, tiny battery, half the size of this battery right here. So it's gonna take about four minutes. At four minutes, it's gonna fully charge that ultra capacitor up enough to jump start the battery on the car. So just put that into perspective. Half of this battery right here that it's able to only power up, you know, a cell phone two or three times or even, you know, make my heated jacket run for a couple of hours. Half of that is able to jump start a car with an ultra capacitor. That is just crazy. Now there's also a couple other forms that you guys could do. Also, you have a cigarette lighter adapter cigarette lighter adapter that also comes with this kit where you can plug that one into a cigarette adapter and that one plugs in 10 amps 12 volts plugs directly into here and is able to charge that one up in say you know two minutes or so like I said depending on what the state of battery charge is on that vehicle or you can plug it directly into a USB source now if you just plug it into a 5 volt 2 amp source that one's going to take upwards of like 15 minutes to charge. Like I said, it only like that small amount of output. Uh, these things don't transfer energy very fast either. Very teeny tiny little wires. It's not going to charge up really fast, but it is still capable. You're able to take the energy from this one, plug it into the USB, plug it into the jump pack right here. It takes about 15 minutes, charges up enough to jump start your car. So this thing, Technically, compiled with this, could jumpstart your car twice. That's pretty nifty. So now, you know we have to test this thing out on camera. So what did I do? I actually took my wife's car and may or may not have killed the battery. Sorry, honey. It's for science. For YouTube. I have let this thing run. All the lights are on. Wipers are going for the last half an hour. I've pretty much killed the battery. Last time I looked at it, the battery was down to like six and a half, seven volts. So we're going to go over there and take a look at this. It's a 2017 Dodge Charger. Uh, it has a capacity of right around a 775 cold cranking amp battery. So it's a pretty good sized battery. This car, it's not going to start at six and a half, seven volts. 
but we're gonna see how long it takes to charge up the ultra capacitor because as you can see here I'm gonna turn this thing on oh well, we can't turn it on because I haven't charged up the internal batteries in this also so it is dead dead no use of the internal battery on this one we are just gonna be using what little juice is left inside the car battery to put it into the ultra capacitor to see if it'll jump all right so I know dusk is falling but you know what we're doing this for science you can see this thing the lights are barely lit the uh, wipers are trying ever so hardly to go but they cannot because they don't have any voltage left so pretty much this thing is done 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 let's hop in and see if this thing is actually gonna start or not highly doubt it all right let's see what's it do click click no go folks so I've got my tester here in the back let's see what kind of voltage the actual battery is at all right at this exact moment we are at 7.7 7.8 volts of juice back here in the back and yes the battery is in the trunk of this charger right here so I'm going to set up the camera here, get a little bit of light on the situation, and we're going to hook this thing up and see exactly how long it takes for that ultra capacitor to charge up enough to say, jump start ready. Okay, so still keeping everything all scientific here, you guys are able to see the voltage that we're reading at the battery. And then we've got the capacitor right here. And like I said, try to turn it on. I do not have the internal battery on this charged at all. Nothing at all. So we're gonna hook this thing up here. Make sure we got our correcto mundo. Losing our light source. All right, so as you can see, 5.7 volts is where we are at right now. Uh, the ultra capacitor is charging up right now. It is at 9.2. 8 volts I believe it's charged up to let's kind of get a little zoom in on it focus 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 see it still says what your battery car battery is at and then what this capacitor charging level is out to so that's pretty cool it's up to 11.3 volts and I believe it's gonna be charging all the way up to 15 volts So at 15 volts right there, the little indicator comes up. It says jump start ready. So it's ready to put that one out. I'm going to kind of put this one back on the stand here. And I'm going to go up front and see if this little thingy-majigger will start the car. See what happens. Keep an eye on that voltage right there. Dude, check that out. Check that out. It, you, it did it. It did it. it. It definitely did that one. And then since the alternator has been running for about two seconds, it still says jump start ready. But the thing also says do not leave this thing hooked up to a vehicle that is running for more than 30 seconds. So let's unplug it right there. All right, got her unplugged. That was awesome, guys. Really, really awesome. How about that, guys? Was that pretty cool or what? Now, science prevailed. It was able to start it. It started it a little bit slower than what I thought. Now, the reason that that happened that I didn't take into account was this car is a push-button start. Once the push-button start vehicles start running low on energy, low on juice, they start doing really dumb things. So I wasn't able to turn the ignition switch off. So that whole time that the ultra capacitor was juicing up, charging up, the vehicle was still trying to pull 
battery power intermittently, I couldn't turn the key off. The wipers were still trying to go at a small amount. So I imagine this would probably have uh, been able to charge and jumpstart the car in about half the time if I was able to physically turn the ignition off and take a key out. That's, that's what I would have to say. So if you have a newer vehicle, obviously with a dead battery, you won't be able to turn it on in the first place. But because of this one, we had the ignition on already. So it was taking a little bit of extra time because of the juice that the car was pulling. Now I can already see you guys in the background saying, come on, get to the meat and potatoes. Tell us how much it is. This thing's really cool. You've been jibber jabbering about it for the last 15 minutes. 10, 15 minutes or so. So let's hear it here. So normal cost on this one over at SP Tools USA website is gonna be right around 330 bucks. You know, it's a little bit more than what market is right now. If you would compare this to like a GB150, a 70 series, something along those lines, those are about 200, 250 bucks. But also, it's kind of hard to really compare apples to apples because those aren't just lithium ion batteries, and this is an ultra capacitor. This is able to be able to be stored in your car over winter. You're not going to have to worry about the battery discharging or anything like that because lithium ion and nickel cadmium batteries over time will discharge themselves, especially in a climate like here in Ohio over winter when it is very cold and frigid. If I kept that uh, NOCO Genius Boost battery in my truck over winter, it would be dead in about two months time is what I found out. So this thing doesn't have to hold any kind of a charge. If you want it to, it's able to charge up within a couple of minutes just from like a, a battery pack for my cell phone or if the battery in a vehicle still has the amount it's able to charge itself from that. Now you're not gonna be starting any kind of big diesel trucks with that one, but with 700 amps of output, a charger was nothing, 3.6 liter engine in that one, maybe even a Hemi, something around those size, would be perfect range for this one right here. Like I said, price range right around 330 bucks normally, but SP Tools, since they've teamed up with me, they've decided that they're gonna give my subscribers a special discount. With that kit, you're gonna get this awesome carrying case. You're gonna get both the charge cords that I showed you before, the destruction manual, or instructions, whatever you wanna call it, and the actual unit itself. You get all of those pieces. Now, with code RUSTBELT, you guys are gonna get this amazing deal at $174.99, 175 bones. That is cheaper than a GB150 right now. Cheaper than a GB70, definitely. So that is an amazing buy to be able to have this type of jump starter ultra capacitor at your need in the trunk of your car without even having to be charged up over the winter. You don't have to worry about it discharging and losing its charge and it's gonna be there for your safety or for your family as well. Now it does have some other safety features, but really honestly, who's gonna use the flashlight on the end of it? Mm, not so much, I guess, if you're in a camping atmosphere, but for that one, you're gonna want a lithium ion battery, an actual battery pack to do that. The actual small 6,000 mAh battery isn't gonna light up uh, this for very long. It does not have any output sources for any kind of cell phones or anything like that. Also, not really what this thing is meant for. It's just meant to be able to start your car when you really need it. Now, it does have some safety features also. Uh, if you were to hook this thing up backwards, it does tell you, hey dummy, you've just hooked this thing up backwards, hook it up the right way, and it's able to tell you that and not fry a bunch of circuits. So it's safe for you know anybody in your family, your teenager, your wife, whatever, to be able to use. You don't have to worry about them messing things up either. Once again, big thank you to SP Tools USA for sending me the banner and the jump pack so I could get this amount of information out to my subscribers so they could learn what an ultra capacitor is and be able to get an amazing price on one if that's what you're really in the market for. I appreciate you guys tuning in. We've got all kinds of tool reviews, truck content, Duramax stuff coming up here in the next week or so. So make sure you stay tuned to that one. The channel is ever evolving and we're moving forward some, with some really awesome stuff coming up here in the near future. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks and as always, you guys stay awesome.